just yesterday a brand new college football 25 update came out and it covers a lot of things that the community was complaining about whether it's gameplay issues or dynasty issues or anything at all and there are some small things and some big things and i will cover each of them in today's video as i go down the list of the patch notes of this update so with that being said let's get straight into it the first section is gameplay and it says there are eight new shotgun formations to a total of 35 teams which isn't really that important at all so i'm gonna kind of go past it the next thing though is very important and it says tuning and logic enhancements to pursuit angles which is one of the things that people complain about the most inside of you know tackling and defense in this game is that pursuit angles are very very hard to judge and you know you usually get messed up and end up just diving at their ankles and completely missing the tackles so by them you know fixing this pursuit angle issue it tells us that they are listening to the gameplay side of things and and making sure that you know the gameplay stays balanced and it stays fun for everyone without game breaking things like you know pursuit angles not really working as they do in real life they also said that they reduced frequency of broken tackles from trailing defenders. They said they fixed various instances of rare broken play bugs. And they fixed an issue where certain formations had offensive players aligned too wide when on near or the far hash. And then there's some fixes with formations that really don't mean anything at all. I mean, it's good they're trying to fix stuff like that, but it's very not not that much important at all and then there's some ai qb behavior stuff where it says like on shot plays they make it you know the throws are faster or higher or whatever i really don't understand what they're saying but it's not that big of a deal and it's not really something that you should be too worried about because there's more things in this update that are more important that i want to spend more time covering in this video I thought it was funny that they said they reduced the effectiveness of multiple laterals on a single play, which I guess makes sense because there have been cl clips, you know, floating around of people throwing crazy laterals. So I guess, I guess they're making the laterals less effective and less accurate. So you can't just throw it blindly behind you and have someone catch it and run to the end zone. So if I were them, that's how I'd fix it. I don't know exactly how they're implementing that, but probably just less accurate laterals. They're probably going to end on the ground more, especially when you're throwing it behind you very, very far across the field. Pass protection has been a huge issue for a lot of people saying that like FCS Southeast is getting, you know, through your line way too quickly. So they said they updated pass protection mechanic to only include the RB in the protection if they are already on a block or block and release assignment, which that's the only thing they said so far in gameplay about, you know, um, pass blocking it. And that's kind of worrying. They didn't really say, you know, balance pass blocking out that wasn't anywhere on this whole list. So. I guess we'll just have to see if there's a little bit of change because yeah that's the only thing they said about pass protection so now we're moving on to abilities there's only a couple i'll just go through them real fast the first one is just about the coloring of platinum it says they changed it to distinct it from silver but the second one is actually kind of funny it says rebalance the gold and platinum tiers of the juke and spin abilities like 316 sidestep which that might sound like nothing to you but for those who have used ohio state Quinshawn Judkins, you know, spin move, the crazy spin move has been nerfed a lot. So that's basically what that thing is saying right there is that he has those 360 and side steps probably on platinum. So by nerfing that, his spin move is no longer, you know, crazy, unrealistic, spinning around five people, which is good, but it was fun to do sometimes against your friends and stuff like that. So it's a little bit sad, but I'm glad they did it. So it kind of balanced out the game somewhat. Then the last two points are just rebalancing more abilities like the extender ability and the um, quick jump ability so those two not as big of a factor as the one i just mentioned about the spin move but that's all it is for the abilities tab of this update now we're moving on to dynasty the first one says that they fixed an issue where players were unable to have more than 20 created coaches at one time in an online dynasty league which i haven't had any issues i haven't played online dynasty at all but for those who have that if you're watching this video I had an issue well it's fixed now so that's good for you i guess the next one says various fixes around score summaries and box scores and when i read this the first thought that popped into my mind was the overtime issue where you see things and i covered it in a video past where you see things like a team won 30 to 6 when you simmed a game but it ended in overtime which obviously is impossible to happen in a college football game you can't be my 24 in an overtime game so i'm hoping this point fixes that issue and there's just some other stuff with box scores you know like i had in my other video my vanderbilt series where you know it said they scored 33 in one quarter that never happened the scores added up to five points less than i scored so there's stuff like that that really didn't make a whole lot of sense so i'm glad they fixed stuff like that and then it says various fixes for news stories which i guess could mean a lot of things really you know there's some news stories that you know don't have 
the right information, I guess, with JFix. I don't really know. I haven't paid a whole lot of attention to news stories when I'm playing Dynasty, but if there have been issues, I guess they're fixed now. Then they said it introduced a new playoff bracket screen, which, again, not that big of a deal. I didn't see an issue with the previous one. This next point is very interesting. It says that they discovered that FCS, Southeast, Midwest, and Northwest were secretly using professional players and passing them off as collegiate players gave them sanctions and ensured they are now using properly rated players, which I think that's kind of funny. I think they're just kind of joking around. They're like they had better players than they should have, I guess is what they're trying to say. This is kind of very confusing, I guess. Maybe I'm just stupid, but I think it's funny they said professional players and passing them off as collegiate players, which I guess they fixed it now because there was that issue of, you know, FCS Southeast beating Georgia and stuff like that. So I'm glad they fixed that. But and there is a note it says for this change to go into effect, you need to create a new dynasty, which I guess it sucks, but it's better than not fixing it at all. So I guess when you make a new dynasty, FCS teams will no longer be so overpowered like they were in the past when the game came out. Another issue with the FCS teams that was fixed was where they would constantly get injured and I personally experienced this too where every other you know play they were getting injured stopping the clock or whatever. It said the reason for this is that the wear and tear would not recover for FCS teams so which means every player is basically playing on severe injury risk which obviously causes a lot of injuries so they did fix that which is a good thing. They didn't mention if it you know you have to start a new dynasty I don't think you do I think it'll be fixed in your current dynasties that you've already started but don't take my word for that that might be up in the air they also said reduced dynamic attendance penalties for playing fcs teams which i guess not that big of a deal again they said it increased dynamic attendance in rivalry games so that makes sense even if you're not a huge team if you play against your rival you should have more fans show up because it is a rivalry at the end of the day moving on to recruiting there is a dev note that's at the top of it which basically says that their primary goals are to make recruiting smooth and as balanced as possible while being realistic and pe letting people get some of the good players, which I know it's very, very hard to do to find that, you know, sliver of a perfect recruiting, you know, system in a video game where nothing's broken. So it's good they're trying to make it as realistic as possible, but there are a lot of points here, so I'm going to kind of go through them pretty quickly. But basically it says there are a reduced number of unrecruited four and five stars early in the season which makes sense you know the whole falling through the cracks thing it's been there since ncaa 14 stuff like that so it's good they're fixing that there are another point that says increase the number of players that ai will pursue at one time and then we're moving on to visits which have had a lot of issues you know in the past couple weeks so they're gonna fix some stuff here. The first one on the visits page says, fixed an issue where you could not schedule visits for recruits in certain situations, which is a pretty blanket thing because there were issues with people not being able to schedule recruits, or I mean visits for, you know, players that they should be able to under the rules of the game. So that's good. And then there are a lot of other visit things. Well, not really a lot. There's like three other points that really don't matter that much about like the logic of the games are coming to and how it affects them. But it's just stuff to make the game more balanced and more realistic to play. And then there's some super sim. Uh, there's some updates to the super sim. Like it says, increased handoff rate for simulated RPOs to increase the number of running plays across the country. So I guess there was an issue with too many passing plays. So now they're trying to balance it out by handing the ball off more in RPOs. And then there says various tuning fixes to increase the gap between good and bad teams players, which makes sense because there were too many upsets i feel like you know in college there are upsets but the number one team should not be losing three and four games you know per year so that's a good thing they're fixing some of these upset things moving on to road to glory it says they added an additional scenario and nil content which is what i asked for previously i said please add more fresh stuff in you know that road to glory because it is kind of bland we need at least a couple of new scenarios so that's good they're adding at least one additional scenario they said they fixed rare issues where you get a scenario reward screen that did not align with your receive bonuses and then they said fix an issue where users were getting skill points maxed out after completing a practice which is funny because i actually did see you know like on instagram people are saying here's how to get a 99 overall straight away at your first practice so it's good they you know patched that bug but maybe people were too loud about it and they caught wind of it and now it's gone and that about does it for the main points of the update. There are some things I skipped, little things that really don't matter. You can go search up, you know, the campus huddle on College Football 25's website. Look at all the points, but I couldn't make this video 20 minutes long. So there are the main things that you guys mostly care about. There are a couple ultimate team things at the bottom, but again, they're just mainly small fixes that really don't matter in the grand scheme of things. But 
If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching till the end, and hopefully you will subscribe and like to come back for more College Football 25 videos in the future, but thank you for watching, and I will see you.